Okay, listen. This is what I'm into, cause of what I've been through. Catchy his flows, make you start sing to. Tickets on sound, line up in queue. Bring your friend and tell her to bring to. This is what I'm into, cause of what I've been through. Catchy his hooks, make you start sing to. Tickets on sound, line up in queue. See, listen, let me tell them, shut up. Where's this guy? I don't think I love With the DJ Gabba Shabadi. Last one. Listen up, massive as we roll. Hey yo, things are hard, I think I'm lumpy Like the racks and all jumpy Into the jungle, bounce like a monkey Take on the rise of Bumpy Town, get old city country Gonna jump with that a young monkey Run back in the days Drum and bass, bash when I'm funky And I'm all like Humpty Dumpty It's 10 o'clock Saturday night we are currently in the industrial skeleton of central London, along with around two and a half thousand other young people. In a day and age of financial uncertainty, the rebirth of something that shaped a generation has taken place. After the worldwide recession in 2008 crippled the UK economy, hundreds of businesses became bankrupt, leaving large industrial property vacant for rave organisations to set up events. Each weekend, thousands attend illegal warehouse parties, otherwise known as raves or free parties. Free parties gain their name due to the lack of restrictions rather than due to the lack of entry fees. The rave scene originally emerged in the late 1980s alongside the birth of a new electronic music genre, Acid House, and the euphoric drug MDMA, otherwise known as Ecstasy. A generation was being united in a way that nobody had seen since the 1960s with the hippie movement. Immediately, raves were receiving glowing media coverage from newspapers such as The Sun, telling of the craze of Acid House and even selling the famous Acid Smiley t-shirts. Coverage soon turned bad after the world learned of the new horror drug ecstasy, with its climax and negativity surrounding the first ever recorded ecstasy-related death. Acid smiley face t-shirts were immediately recalled from shops and nightclubs promoting acid house nights either cancelled their events or made it clear to the authorities that they had no affiliation with drug culture. In light of this, those that still had a passion for acid house and the rave scene had to move to the underground to keep the scene alive. For many this is where the scene truly emerged. Thousands would descend upon industrial estates and fields in forgotten corners of the UK to attend raves. Unfortunately, these events attracted bad faces from both sides of the law, as the potential profiteering value of the rave scene was discovered. In light of this, criminal organisations began to start organising events purely for the profit and not for the love of the unity shared between the attendees. Also, noticing the criminal involvement in the scene, the police began to crack down harder upon free parties, as the gangs organising the events were mainly doing so to traffic drugs to maximise profit made at the events. Today, free parties are organised very differently from how they were 20 years ago. But you're flexing like you're 21. I am 21. The start of the life cycle of a raid begins with a person known as a goer, or to us as a squatter. Best I represent, best I keep it real. Tell me how you feel, drop that coat. Goers will seek out vacant buildings for rave organisers to host events in. They will come to some sort of arrangement and closer to the date of the event, the goers will inform the police of their whereabouts. By the time the eviction notice has been served to the goer, the rave will have already been and gone. More often than not, attendees will not know of the location of the venue until the night. To get to the event itself, 
Attendees will be given a mobile number to call after 9pm on the night of the event. There will be a voicemail informing attendees of directions to take the venue, thus staying one step ahead of the authorities. So why do you guys go rave? My inner raver. Because it's the best place in the whole entire world. Ah, it's the best place you might be with your friends. Yeah, all your best happens. The points that we have all made. And you make, you make loads of friends. Counter trouble with the police at rave. Um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, at, at, rave, yeah, at, yeah, at rave sometimes get shut down so that the police are like. Everyone leave the area! And they have like dogs and shit. Fair and, yeah, that's but sometimes at the Uxford Road, which is ages ago, oh, there's yeah. police and they were like, they checked around the building. They allowed it. It was safe enough. And then they said, it has to finish at 7 am. So at 7 am, it, it just. Everyone, everyone just had to turn off. It was, it was fine because was. the police were outside, just waiting like. So I guess it was kind of safe. It was an agreement on both halves. And they never let yeah. any like. The security at raves never let like, anyone have like knives or glass. Or anything like that. Yeah. So they, do, do they search you or anything? Yeah, yeah. Search, yeah. They, they search you. Right. Unless you go to like really like. We always go to like the well known company which know yeah. what they're doing. Like, they, they, they know what, what to do. Like, like they check everything. Like, I heard at a rave in um, Croydon that the police are actually directing people to the rave. Is that true? Oh yeah, was that was that true? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't. They direct us like they they said it was fine. Because, because when there's too many people, they can't. The police can't really do anything about it. So they're just trying to make it as safe as possible. No, but yeah. they, they, they can't have the police have a yeah. Have yeah. Free, they can't. They have they have the police can't do that because they can't have all like there's hundreds of thousands of people. Like, they can't have them all on the street. Like, they've got to get people somewhere. Like, Are you guys 18? Um, or are you coming up to 18? I'm when you 18. go to 18? I'm, I'm, like, 18. I'm still 16. I've been 18, so I'm not 18 for a while. Now. When you're 18, will you not go to illegal raves anymore? Will you just go to clubs? I, 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 I think I'll always. I don't like the sound of clubs. No, club, like fabric. Like, fabric. Because it's a drum and bass yeah. kind yeah. of race. Because we go it's for the good. drum and bass mainly. Yeah, it's the music. Yeah, so yeah. Play boat club. It's all like. Yeah, like I can definitely see why people choose to go for over like Club. fabric though because you, it's just like a different world really. It's a different atmosphere completely. Drugs are not a problem. You would think they're legal to be honest because everyone's doing them. But at fabric it's a lot more stricter and they're really firm on you and stuff. So yeah. Um, what music genre do you think is the, uh, the predominant music genre at the moment at Rave? Drum and bass, drum and bass, neurofunk and house mainly. But how drum and bass mainly. Yeah. What about side trance? Um, they have side trance, but it's not that. like it's I not as big. They have like individual. They have like rave. reggae stage sometimes. They have, they have like, different stages. Yeah. In different rooms. But drum and bass right, is always right. the main stage. The main the room day. is drum and bass because everyone, more more people into that. Yeah. Yeah. You can dance to it. You can. But it brings different like people's music tastes together, and it brings different people. Like not all people like drum bass, but like people like drum bass and house. You can go to the house room, even though it's a bit smaller, but it just invites more people. Yeah, like, yeah, it like fits. Yeah. Have any people taking like illegal drugs at raise, or is that not a problem? Well, um, at rave, at rave, rave, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Like, we're going to like, like, if you want to do what you want to do, yeah. it's fine. Like, like, yeah. Is that I'd rather stick to balloons. Yeah. 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 Some people, people, like, people go, yeah. Some people go, yeah. Some people go, yeah. Some people go, yeah. But, like, if that's, a, if that's what they want to do, like, yeah. you've got to let them yeah. do it. Like, there's no judgment. There's, like, there's like, always, like, always, like, paramedics and shit. Like, yeah. Like, and, like, the security just goes, like, and well, everyone, everyone looks after you. Yeah. Everyone and if you K-hole, you're always being looked after. Yeah. Everyone is looked after. And you K-hole, we're in pickle. Well, that's yeah. what I've heard anyway. The horse must be